Yo, yo, Daily Fire, if it's trash, turn it off. But if it has value, please share it out for me. Of course, it's brought to you by MaxEffortMuscle.com. For all your supplement needs, go to Max Effort Muscle. All right, Daily Fire, episode 313. Man, if you felt what I felt and you experienced what I've experienced, you would do, you would do it all. I don't know what the fuck we're going to title this, but this is where it came from. So Jim Rohn, the legendary Jim Rohn, somebody asked him why he got up so early. And he said, if you felt what I felt, you'd get up early. If you've experienced what I've experienced, you'd get up early. And if you would experience what I know is coming, you would get up early. And that's really what it takes. So when people ask me, gee, why do you get up and train at 4 a.m.? I, I have a hard time even explaining the understanding of how important it is. Because if you can experience being in a groove where you feel the universe conspiring and things just start going your way because of the discipline, because of the push, because of the education, there's things that seem more clear to you than to others. I know it sounds like some fucking voodoo shit, but it all fucking makes sense. And what Jim Rohn was explaining is that when he's di- when he has discipline in his life, there's more doors that are open. When he has discipline in his life, things are a little smoother. When he has discipline in his life, the progress is there. That's what I'm getting to. So when I dial in the discipline and things open up, I'm not surprised. When I dial in the discipline and somebody wants to help me out, I'm not surprised. When I dial in the discipline and I make progress, I almost expect it. Now, I can't expect it in a time frame because you're not you're not guaranteed any fucking time frame. But when it happens, I'm not surprised. So my point is, is what Jim Rohn was saying is that if you could feel what that feels like, have you ever dedicated yourself truly? So I just had somebody message me the other day. Yo, G, I've been rocking with you since like 2013. I just went all in this year. I feel amazing. It's 2023. He'd been rocking with me for 10 years. He supported the old company, supported the new company, but he still wouldn't listen just all the way. And try it. Look, not it's not for everybody, right? It is for everybody. It's for anybody, but not for everybody. But the reality is, you could try it. You might need some tweaks, you might whatever. But he said, I finally went all in. I went all in on the lunges. I went all in on the diet lifestyle. I went in on the education. I feel like a different dude. Because you are a different dude. Because your frequency and the way you're operating is now opened you up to a whole nother fucking level. So whenever you're not practicing these things, when you're not pushing your body, which by the way, is one of the natural, most natural antidepressants of all time with the muscles released when you train, the serotonin levels of when you're done. Like this shit is not like, I'm not making shit up. Set this in your routine. You have to move your fucking body. And you have to study and and create some action in your fucking mind. Those two things need to happen every fucking day if you want to progress. Because at some point, you're going to go up against a wall where you need to exercise more discipline. Or you could have crazy success but then die and not even be around to fucking spend it anyway. That's real. That is fucking real. So health and wealth together. But the reality is you need to make sure and give yourself a chance to experience it. Now, is it going to hurt a little bit in the beginning? Is it uncomfortable? Of course it is. Has anybody ever got better by sitting on their couch and being comfortable? I've never fucking seen it. Of course it has to be uncomfortable. Of course you got to do shit you don't want to do. That's just what it is. But what's on the other side of that? Is it opportunity? Is it confidence? Is it, you know, promotions at work, better relationships, better understanding? Maybe you read a book that changes your entire fucking outlook on how you live. 
Maybe it's on happiness. Maybe it's on meditation. Like, what are your cur- what are you curious about? What do you want to get better in? What do you want out of this fucking life? What do you want out of this fucking life? You can go experience that. And the discipline that Jim Rohn is talking about is what gets you there. When I talk about discipline, people automatically think I'm taking something from them. I'm not taking your fucking pizza from you. I'm giving you back your fucking life. I'm giving you back your fucking energy. I'm giving you back your fucking confidence. I'm giving you back your ability to do things with your kids. I'm giving you back what you think you want by eating that pizza. I'm just telling you. So don't look at discipline as like disciplinarian because it's not what it is. You need a strategy that has a discipline that has some other thing has some other things in it where you can cheat and do it has some lifestyle shit. But the reality is you need to say, what is my discipline strategy so I can experience what G is talking about? How can I get my confidence to another level? So when the opportunity is there, I can fucking seize it because here's how this works. I'm going to explain it to you real quick. Me and you have the same fucking job. I do what I do. We have the same skill, okay? So let's just go. We are the same fucking athlete. We're D1 athletes. We have the exact same skill set. But I get up every day. Doesn't have to be at 3 in the morning. Could be 5. I get up earlier than you, and I'm studying my mind while I'm working out. That working out isn't making me a lot better than you, but it's making me incrementally better than you but the mental part is making me incrementally better than you too so who do you think is going to be sharper when the fucking lights are on okay you might get me some of the times but over time i'm gonna fucking get you so when i'm in that boardroom and i'm a little bit tighter and i'm a little bit sharper and when the opportunity shows itself, I'm going to see it before you. I'm telling you, this shit is like nine times out of ten if you're, if you're locked in. I've felt it so many times in my life. I want you to think about that and just think, how can I evolve myself so I can experience what G is yelling about here today on this daily fire? I'm telling you, force yourself into a routine. Force yourself To make a baby step towards what I'm talking about so you can get closer to experiencing what Jim Rome was talking about. Daily Fire. We out.